Hi, this is Dr. Aubrey Wallace, and this is the EOE report for this week, July 31st through the first week of August, August 6th, uh, 2023. Last week, we had a little bit of a lure. Uh, we were on a path uh, of transformation. We're moving through transformation, and the sense was to feel our way through towards uh, towards our evolutionary uh, lingerings there. We had some yellow pollen being um, shook and shaken towards us there uh, and we should have been kind of finding our way to connect with the people we needed to connect with. I hope you found those people for yourself and that you felt like you were connected in last week. If you are liking these please subscribe and uh, li like and subscribe and share. Uh, I would love to spread these out to the world if, and share with other people so we can embody our evolution together. Alrighty, this week we are in a Chakra 3 focus. So Chakra 3 when is about really being deeply okay. Like it's connecting in, it's understanding the mental realm. So oftentimes if it's the focus, we kind of need to make a plan. We need to use our mind, make a plan, and remember we're okay. We don't have to be great, but we're okay and we can move forward. This is also sometimes about shining our light, like shining a little bit of light into the world so that we can make things a little bit easier. So that's being optimistic, bringing some optimism in. This week we have stones, a stepping stones path uh, map. So it looks like we, when you have a stepping stones on a map, uh, they are about taking steps and that we need to take very pragmatic steps to get where we're going here. This map looked like we started out at the bottom here with a with a demanding of the sacred. So that and that's right on this uh, on the bottom of the page, um, on the right side of the page. So it's kind of we had to take that action step and step onto that one. When it's that color, it usually means that we didn't really have a choice in that, <laughs> and we were brought to this step we're on and starting with. So the sacred is demanding for us to step through these these upcoming stones, and it's time to get going and going forward. Also, the, the word stepping stones here is in feisty love and action. So I do think this is for our best. It's for loving ourselves towards our potential that it is to take this path. The next step uh, off to the right is the color of, of grounded in vision. So I think from this, this little uh, stolid step of being thrust upon uh, the sacred, we're going to move into what is it we are ground, what do we want to see in the world? Can we ground ourselves in the vision we already know we have, stepping forward into the vision we've been having about how we would like the world to be? Next step after that will be one into our power and career money. So it looks like we first have to step into our vision, then we start taking action on that power and money action piece. Um, then this, <laughs> this fourth step is in the color of delicious. And they drew the almost like a little happy stone happy man on there with a couple of the only little pebbles of grain that went onto any of the stones were on that coming in as eyes. So I think they're trying to give us this message this week. Just stabilize yourself in delicious right now. What is it? What do you want? What is it that you would like that would make your life feel deliciously right for you? And go ahead and let yourself linger in it. Just a little be happy with it for a second. It's right there on the heart chakra center of the page. So you know in your heart what, what, what would be right for you. Let yourself feel that deliciousness. Okay. So that's step four. Step five, we're moving off into and are we healthy? So that's a step of remembering what is healthy for us? Step six is moving into third chakra straight out color. So that's a color of be optimistic, be empathic, step forward, um, make a plan. You can do this. And then we step quickly on to a little bit of expressing who we are, remembering who we are, aligning with our truth. And then finally up to pure purple, which is the actual change that we're, um, we're on the path to, towards. So I think we've got quite a few steps here. Anytime there is a stepping stone path, we usually have a timing to it. So let's see if I can catch the timing. Uh, I've got a 28 day cycle here. So it looks like uh, we have step one be uh, four days, step two, more like five, four to five days, step three. So we're, we're in 
you know, into next week already. Step three, another about six days there. Step four, it feels like we linger in that almost eight days. So keep going up your steps here. We've got a couple of weeks just to even get to that delicious phase. And then you're gonna be seeing the change that's being generated here by the end of the month. So I hope you, uh, I hope you have fun um, stabilizing yourself on those stones. Also, on the back here, we have gravel all over that's in the color of Surrender to Grace. So don't worry, the stones look look steady here. You don't have to fall into the river. Um, even if you step off the path a little bit, you've got Grace bringing you back this time. So do make a plan. See if this can help you structure your plan a little bit on the best ways to step. Take one step at a time, and you're going to start seeing your outcome in about a month. It's great to have you guys watching this. Thank you for participating with me, and I look forward to seeing you next time.